Welcome to Dreamify. My goal today is to explain in just a few minutes how to create and customize your games and gamification experiences on our platform. If you have created your account, you will have access to your dashboard. From this dashboard, you will be able to create new folders and also new applications. You have access to the whole catalog and you can filter it by the type of experience you're looking to deliver. Once you have chosen an experience, and here we will use a demo in the Demo folder to illustrate, you will arrive on the creation steps, listed here on the left. At any time, you can use the Preview button to see what your creation or game looks like in computer, tablet, or mobile format. Just start with the first step, the Start screen. You can put the title, a visual, and a description. We can also adjust certain parameters, such as managing the display on social networks, and then we can also provide you with a template for the terms and conditions that you can customize or simply replace with your own if you have them drawn up. The next step is branding, or the graphic customization step. All you have to do is choose a dark theme or light theme, add your logo, add a background image, and then you will be able to customize the whole theme. Change the primary color, change the font, change the size of the text, adjust the buttons, etc. It's super simple. Just a few images and a few color settings and the branding is done. Once the graphic customization stage is complete, you go to the first intermediate screen. Intermediate screens are all over the experiences. These screens allow you to add additional content throughout the different experiences. The most common type of screen is going to be the data collection form. You will be able to choose what data you wish to collect. For example, you could ask for first name, last name, email address, or postcode, among others. There are also a lot of customizable fields, such as checkboxes and drop-down menus. If you don't want to collect data, you can present interactive content. This can be text, an image, a video, or even a social network page. We can include links to your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and TikTok accounts, and be able to put them forward with an invitation for users to follow you. You could also use this area to display the leaderboard feature, because you can add as many intermediate screens as you want. At various stages of the game, you can create sequences to deliver whatever and however much additional content you like. Once the intermediate screen is done, we can get stuck into the game configuration stage. So here, for example, we are in a classic blocks puzzle game. We will simply customize the different blocks. We can upload images, and we can recommend the best size for each visual. We can also customize the how to play pop-up to your liking. For the classic games with specific mechanics, we'll give the rules of play in a pop-up that appears on screen. There are also question and answer games, such as quizzes, personality tests, and surveys. For these types of applications, you have to fill in the questions. You can include as many questions as you want, and you can also add photos and videos to illustrate each question. In terms of question and answer applications, we have different answer formats you can use. Single choice, multiple choice, open NPS scores, and we regularly add more. Then we have instant win mechanics. For example, we have a spin the wheel in which you as the game creator can indicate the number of prizes you want to be available to win. For each prize, we will have a title, a visual, a description, and also the volume of prizes that are at stake for people to win. We could see different configurations for different types of games. If we continue with the creation stages, we have the possibility, after the game phase, to have an intermediate screen again. We have exactly the same choices as before, so we can either collect data, add some more interactive content, or push the social networks, or display the leaderboard. You then go to the end screen step, where you can put a small thank you to users, as well as a message or an indication of the result, if it's a game or an application that creates a result at the end. Then you go to the settings, where you can activate the white label or customize your subdomain, or even select a language, safe in the knowledge that the platform supports more than 30 different languages. 
You can also tailor the experience by setting limitations, such as limiting participation to one per email address, or per IP, or per session. You can also say that you only want a user to be able to play once every 24 hours. We can also adjust the leaderboard settings and a lot of other small additional options. We have now completed the configuration of the game and we're ready to publish it. To publish a game, you just have to give a start date and time and an end date and time. You also need to set the time zone and set the game status to published. You will then get the direct link which can be copied and pasted and shared across social networks by SMS and by email. You can also use this link to generate a QR code that can be scanned by users to access the application and you are also provided with an HTML embedding code that you can simply copy and paste into any web page. Now your application is published, you will be able to get statistics and see how your game is performing. You have a dashboard where you can access all the statistics generated by your application and also the data collection for which you will get a table that you can download as an Excel file or connect directly with your external tools if you use the Dreamify API. And that's how easy it is to create a game on the platform. If you need help, don't hesitate to contact the support team who are available on the live chat and will be more than happy to assist you. Trimify.